Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano are transforming how we invest, think about money, and even create art. And now they're coming for politics. Let's break down what crypto is and how it's transforming political fundraising. Unlike the US dollar, cryptocurrencies are entirely digital and they're not controlled by any one government or bank. In other words, crypto is decentralized and that's all thanks to the blockchain, which is a global network of computers that store data and validate transactions every time cryptocurrency is bought or sold. With no bank involved, transactions are faster, more secure, and usually have less processing fees compared to a credit card. Since your data is stored across thousands of computers instead of in one place, hacking the blockchain is really hard, though not entirely impossible. Okay, so what does all of this have to do with politics? Let's start at the origins. In 2014, the Federal Election Commission authorized candidates and committees to start accepting crypto donations. That was eight years ago, but today only a handful of candidates or groups are encouraging donors to give with crypto. Here are four potential reasons for that. Reason number one, reporting crypto contributions to the FEC is really complicated, and crypto needs to be converted to dollars before it could be spent. Reason number two, Major political donation platforms like WinRed and ActBlue don't currently process crypto transactions. Reason number three, the crypto market is unpredictable right now. If you invested, say, $1,000 in Bitcoin six months ago, it's worth a fraction of that today. Campaigns that use crypto need a high risk tolerance because it could lose value literally overnight. Reason number four, the jury is still out for a lot of states on crypto and politics and California, Oregon, Michigan, and North Carolina have outlawed crypto fundraising altogether. The last election cycle shattered political fundraising records with a whopping $14 billion exchanging hands. And that record is on track to be broken again in 2024. But less than $600,000 has been reported as raised from crypto so far this cycle. That's only a sliver, but let's follow the money anyways. 88% of that crypto has gone to a crypto-focused PAC called GMI PAC and to candidate Blake Masters, an Arizona Republican and venture capitalist running for U.S. Senate. There's a whole lot more to the story on crypto and politics, so we'll be diving into more on fundraising and NFTs in our next episode of this mini-series on crypto. Stay tuned.